Traditional networking with an education has been very static. You did your investigations, you procure and install your data center, core, edge, wireless, whatever it is you need. You utilize it every day for five to seven years. And then guess what? You get to do the process all over again. Well, that's not quite how most networks are being utilized now. Actually, we're moving away from the static network into a much more flexible, agile, open source based network that can move with the day-to-day -day changes in your requirements. 2020 is the best example of something happening that no one foresaw that has affected every organization in the world. So when something like this happens, our prestigious organizations, our universities in this country need to be able to adapt with the times, adapt with the changes. Now, at Extreme, we have a data-driven and API-driven networking model. What this basically means is that, number one, we believe in big data. Part of our, well, a huge part of our cloud platform is based on data, out of the box, machine learning. Data is gold, data is king. And once you can federate that data into a central place, which you can do on our cloud platform, once you can federate that data, you can then add intelligence into that data. And you can start to think about how you can utilize that data to create applications on the network that solve real world day-to-day -day problems. Now, you can work with Extreme to develop those applications. You can work with the students in the IT department, perhaps even with Extreme Academy. Or you can look to third parties. As Extreme, we don't care. We want to work with you to create the best end-to-end -end experience for you, for your students, for your faculty, utilizing those open sources, utilizing those North and South Band APIs, and using our abilities to develop bespoke applications on your network for your students. The use of big data within universities allows them to solve a host of different challenges, some of which we might not have even come up with yet. I can certainly give, uh, give a couple of really solid examples. One could be for smart buildings and room management. I know a particular university that worked with their students to develop an application that sits on their network that shows them the power usage of each building so they can control and become a more green campus. You can utilise things like Pointer for location services and our location services, again, outside of the box, you could utilise this for footfall or trying to figure out why there's a concern in a certain area of the university. Oh, I have to think of a great example, actually. Um, there's one university utilising a, a kind of a more legacy beacon solution and they noticed when they were examining the footfall across the university that there was a certain area that no one ever walked through. It was the directest route to that particular lecture theatre. No one ever went there. So someone in facilities was able to look at this metadata about, and this again is out of the box in, in extreme. They were able to look at this data, go to that location and say, why is no one walking through here? Well, it turns out that the lamp had gone off and it was in pitch black. So no one could see where they were going through there. So very, very simply, they could use this for mapping the best routes across the campus. In fact, you can utilise this um, for return on investment, because if you can prove to a particular uh, brand of coffee shop or a cafe, hey, we can prove to you, um, we can prove to you empirically that X number of students always walk past this point. So we know you'll have the footfall for your cafe or coffee shop, so they can use it for business cases too. So 
there are very few limitations when you start looking at data and API-driven networking.